With me in the studio are Iran Hadass with his project Listening to the Enemy. Uh, let's begin with you, Iran. Tell us uh, a little bit about your project. Uh, the project is called Listening to the Enemy, mm -hmm. and it's a collaboration with Lior Zalmanson. Uh, what we did is build an audio guide to the museum, or at least the archaeological uh, department, mm -hmm. and uh, the the, the explanations given in that uh, audio guide are uh, supplied by people who cannot access the museum or Israel. Uh, what we did is uh, pay people using uh, crowdsourcing websites mm -hmm. uh, to explain about images we gave them, images we took from the, the museum artifacts, and they described uh, the artifact. <laughs> We see in the image a human with only a head and two toes or legs. They might want it to say, the human is a head, meaning thinking. So we found a website called Microworkers, and in that website you can access people from specific countries. Mm. So the countries we accessed were um, uh, Pakistan, Bangladesh, uh, Morocco, Egypt, uh, Indonesia, Malaysia, and so on. They did not know anything about us. We said, this is a project. We're paying you a dollar and a half for a one-minute recording, and uh, it's a project about art and history. And you should do this and that, and that's all. And the toes point at science. Without thinking or science, there is no human. Uh, we got a lot of stories. There are a lot of uh, very simple stories about uh, life uh, in uh, normal society or uh, agricultural society, like right. a man tells a story about his goat and things like that. Like that. But there are also uh, sex stories, uh, complaints against uh, ISIS and uh, a lot of other things and I think that uh, when you hear the multiplicity of voices you get yep. the whole picture. 